on stage. Okay. And three, two, one. Welcome to Talking Threesome, where somebody's gotta say it. Might as well be these ladies here. I'm Liz. Steph. And Mary. Welcome to our podcast. We're glad you're here. We've been talking about this for at least three years. We uh, clearly missed the COVID podcast and trade for everybody on the planet and decided we were going to share all of our fun stuff post COVID because our stories got even better, or at least we think so. Yeah. And, and plus in COVID, it was flooded with podcasts. Right. We so. needed to be later to the game. Yes. Yes. We had to have others weeded out before we <laughs> entered the space. <laughs> we're Bravo junkies. We're crazy moms, cat moms, dog moms, kid moms. All team. work in, Not, yep. in business, different kinds of businesses. Design. Uh, Anything you could think fashion. of. Fashion. Yep. I mean, not fashion, fashion. Some would question our fashion. But sense. it's still fun. But we like to dress. <laughs> as ladies. Ish. <laughs> Just depends. <laughs> no, yeah, I think it does depend. I mean... You're at a swinger party, evidently, today, stuff. I, I, I mean, why not? No, I like it. My husband has one of these, too. We have matching. You can leave your keys in the bowl by the front door. <laughs> Did you put a pineapple outside today? I oh, missed yes. it. Upside down on Tuesdays <laughs> in, the, in the grocery cart. In Tuesdays. That's what it is. Is it Tuesday? On Tuesday is mm-hmm. the day? Mm-hmm. Tuesday's the day. Oh, I didn't know it was a certain day. That's what I read. I don't know personally. Mm-hmm. We could probably bring a guest on from Swing Town, Wing, Ta- Wing Haven, <laughs> to Swing find out. Town. Uh-huh. Yes. Wing Town. Yeah. We'll just add that to the agenda. Yeah. So we so, are going to have different topics each week. Some might be the same. We're going to ask for our listeners to vote. Um, they can be anything from food, which we all like, mm-hmm. some too mm-hmm. much. Me? Me too. Uh, cocktails, some recipes, wine. Mm-hmm. 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 And you can email us at talking threesome. That's talking T A L K I N G, the number three, S O M E at gmail.com. Please do email us because if you don't email us, then we have to pick our own topics, and it's a lot more fun if we hear your topics. Travel. We're going to have a lot on travel, um, business travel, recreational travel, kids' sports travel. I'm the one left still doing that um, out of the ladies. But uh, trust me, there's some interesting stories that come from that. Waitress need, stories? Waitress, yep. We need a coaster, ma'am. I do, I do. We love our, our service industry, and we are huge patrons of the same, but... Uh, with said travel comes a lot of interesting stories in the, the restaurant and hospitality side. Uh, we love to talk about hotel bartending, since again, between us, we probably have 100 nights um, a year at hotels. If you saw our text to each other, I bet you would not go more than five without seeing a picture of a single cocktail. Um, oh. Someone's crying. One of my fur babies is crying. Sorry. Um, oh, he's trying to jump up on the wall. Lovely. Mm-hmm. Anyway, back to, oh, the text. And I bet you could not go five texts without seeing a picture of a single drink on any random night. Could be a Monday. Could be a Tuesday. Could be a Friday. Could be a Saturday. And nine uh, times out of ten, it's a dirty martini. Yes. Mm-hmm. Which is... What you hear? Oh, our drink of choice. I forget, tonight. I, I forget that we're even. Yep. Clicking and clanking. Yes. Click, click. Cheers, like, ladies. Cheers, cheers everyone. Ladies. Let's do this. Cheers, cheers to the yes. pilot. Yes. Yeah. Hopefully, we'll have more than our moms and children listening mm-hmm. at some point. So, uh, what's the hot topic? Well, can we talk about the, I don't even know how to say it. Semaglutide. Oh, the semaglutide. Semaglutide. Or ozempic. Is it actually the same? So semaglutide is 
the generic brand and so on label what you'll hear of, right? That would okay. be Ozempic. There's a couple of others. But obviously, if you live in California and are on the California diet plan, Ozempic is your uh, cocktail or food of choice, evidently. It's what? Your Motrin? That is. It, it really is. Huh. Okay. So it's just... Not being judgmental. It is. <laughs> so, I mean, when I go on my Facebook page, every third thing mm -hmm. is... I mean, it's it's uh, number two, easily that yeah. I I is it because I click on you know probably yeah, yeah so the I algorithms you know, yeah. hopefully we'll get an algorithm about it. Yes, <laughs> yes. But it, it's like it, you know the only thing that's holding me back. I mean, because I really I really do want to try it. This uh, whole menopause thing. I have gained um, twenty pounds. Mm. The sh in the past, I'm gonna say close to twelve months. Yeah. Just because of the menopause thing. Hormones are and a bitch. If I can just, I mean, I, no, I've got, you're what? going through the change at 25. Well, I know. <laughs> yes. I know. I know. But if I didn't have such a, a I, I, I'm just hesitant to actually spend, you know, Right. Pay these. I don't know what the, these, these websites are. Right. Because it's not like it's twenty bucks. Right. No. You know. But I mean, it's not really bad price. The last price. I mean, what I got. I'm gonna need to know more as far as how much I need. Yeah, and I, I guess you know. I mean, one vial was one hundred and sixty-one dollars. Yeah, and so I. So so again. You know, not giving medical advice. You know, I guess we should disclaim that. Not that um, people are gonna chase us down about that, but. Mm -hmm. Um, so with, with the semaglutide or any of these, you titrate up, which means your dose continues to change and it goes up over time. Some drugs, medications, you titrate down, so you wean yourself off of. These, as you change, as your body chemistry changes, right, and the way it works, you go up in dose. And so some people, you know, in stage two as an example of the use of one of these, you are, you might feel like, oh my goodness, I can't do this. This is too much for me because sometimes the nausea or um, sometimes fatigue sets in, right? So the key with all of the semaglutides and that, and that family is that you manage your protein intake significantly. Um, at first, Meaning lower or higher. So you're gonna want a lot of protein. A lot of protein, okay. Yep. Ugh. Yep, it, it, it is. It's tricky. And so that's what's going to help because when you go with something like this, it can trigger nausea. It's going to, you know, it, it's an appetite suppressant. You're not going to want to eat. And that's the, the way that this starts to shift and change. I don't, you know, behind all the science, etc. But that's the real simple way to explain it. Okay. And so, so week one, you might, four weeks, you're going to dose it X as an example. And then, you know, the next four weeks, you might dose X plus. And you might say, I cannot do this. They're going to, you know, on the plan, you're going to have, you know, some version of either a medical doctor or practitioner, someone saying, this is your next dosage. And your feedback is going to be critical because if you really can't do it, then you might find that you're back to where you are. This is a long-term commitment. You know, it's not like you do this for 90 days and you're like, okay, I lost some. So what? I got to give myself shots for. So typically with a semaglutide, it's an 18-month commitment um, because your body shifts and changes. So some will even tell you three years. It really just depends when you when you level out. But that's what it's working with. Um, so it is. So let me ask a question. Yeah. So when you level out, mm -hmm. if you don't continue to watch your caloric intake mm. and you stop, let's say you said, I don't want to take this anymore. Let's say you just decided maybe you had sure. a few side effects, maybe you had no side effects, but you say, I don't want to take this anymore. What would have to happen for your eating pattern to keep Great you question. in the same realm of weight? So keeping in mind, you know, I'm just a mom with a little bit of a nursing background, <laughs> and that's about it. Um, but not a diet, not a nutritionist. Uh, so our bodies tend to believe and change after so much time, and that's why they say 18 months to three years on something like this. God bless you. Um, she sees and it five so, times, just in case. Yep. Yeah, for for yep. for, for <laughs> future <laughs> listeners, you got maybe one more comment. Uh, maybe, yeah, maybe not. Okay. Okay. So okay. anyway, just, just wanted to let get everybody know each other. We got a five-time <laughs> sneezer. 
you have somebody that is gives great medical not medical advice, but mm, uh, just no, some just consultation, yeah, consultation of my opinion. So it's my not opinion. something that once I lose twenty pounds, I can stop and I and, and not, here we go. We're gonna just not, keep this. Not nor no, because your body hasn't built the chemistry up I yet to say mind and and right appetite. Mm -hmm. You you match once you are accustomed to eating in that pattern and that and that caloric intake and everything else has shifted then your body will say okay we're good we got this mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and and that's why this is a, a longer term commitment it's not you know there's no i want mm -hmm. fin fin back yeah me yeah. too many fins many fins at the gas station at the stop and go in hillsboro yeah was the place it was easy. I don't feel like there was <laughs> any side of it. I'm guessing yeah. our older, even our daughters may not even know Fin Fin. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah. the Alex yeah. is squared. Yeah, yeah oh, no. Yes. So, Fin Fin, for those uh, younger listeners, um, but I would say for anybody the pill. 45 and older, maybe, oh, or maybe 40 and I think, ooh, I think it's probably a 45 and up. Okay. So, it was Finel, you'll know the medical name. Mm. Fin. Whatever. Fin, we called it works. Fin. Yeah. Fin. So a Fedrin or it, well, it wasn't. It was a Fed. Well, Fin Fin. Part of it was an Fedrin, but part of it was I forget the other name of it. Um, but when they say there's no weight loss pill, there was. It there, just absolutely it, there, and it worked. There was and it worked. And it it just uh, did bad things to a lot of people. Unfortunately, so much energy. <laughs> I was able to work, and I mean produce. Yeah. And keep on Pick going, us. and yes, I and mean, I've never been on Adderall, but I'm going to say so. I, I, I'm I, disclaiming I've not been on it. it. I would say, but based on what I know about when I took many fins, <laughs> fin fin, was that very focused, high energy, yep. not hungry, but not, and I really didn't feel it wasn't like I drank ten cups of coffee. Mm. I, it was just really good, and and so and I know obviously there was a lot of bad side effects yeah. for some people. I would say I didn't I incur any of them. No, I would None. be actually more, and this is probably bad to say. I would be more apt to take Fen Fen than than Ozempic, only because yeah. I get it at a gas station. Right, <laughs> right. It was a if always like the FDA said. Well, it wasn't. Yeah, you could like sell it over the counter. Then heck yeah, you need a script for this. You know, you got to be medically monitored. You got to do your labs. You got to check all this stuff. Um, but yeah, so so I have not tried it. I am not opposed to trying it. As a matter of fact, I would love to get on there and just give it a go. Um, but it is. It is an active plan and a maintenance plan, so it's both. And it, your body does have to adapt, and there are you you are gonna feel like you well, know, hell, I should I'm, just work out then. Fuck it. I know, but sometimes, <laughs> so I do that, and I log my food. I guess I need to give up the wine and the margaritas. And, well, not mar mar martinis. I don't really do margaritas, but I'm not gonna give up my wine. So you know, help help a sister out. Somebody, well, somebody that's help me a little boost. I, I, I just, I'm not real sure if it's going to work for me then because I'm not into maintenance. <laughs> <laughs> it's just to keep doing the injection, silly girl. Yeah, but then protein. I don't eat protein. I hardly oh. eat anything. If I would log my calories, I probably yeah, do see. about a thousand calories or less. Oh, so you gosh. would feel you would feel not well. I I will tell you that you will feel not well with this. You will. Because you won't have enough in your system to combat what's happening chemically. This is um, not what I want to hear. I know. So I'm going to offer an alternative. <laughs> so, and I, th I, I don't, I want everybody to do I'm absolutely Whatever. what they want to, what they want to do. I'm, oh, I think we're I, all a big believers mm -hmm. in that. I think we're all adult okay. women. We should be able to do whatever. Here's just a thought. If the cost is X. Whatever the cost is, let's say $150. I don't even know what $150 will get you, but let's say it's $150. And it's $150 times, is that monthly, yearly, mm -hmm. whatever the cost is. So multiply all that times three years mm -hmm. and see what that adds up to. Mm -hmm. And then see if there's something else you could think could get you there for that amount of money. It's the effort. Well, sometimes it's a work. Yeah. Gotta work hard. Hard, get work hard to get results. <laughs> 
<laughs> I, I like I work really really hard for you know a good salary like that makes a ton of sense to me yeah me too and then I try and work really really hard for healthy ish lifestyle minus wine and martinis and shit doesn't work out like right. I get mad yeah, because you can mm -hmm. see results immediately with focus hard work yes. money comes in it's like an, an immediate gratification you know. and you've sort of trained your body. So it's kind of like similar because you trained your body. We you trained our minds yeah. for how many years all being professionals long time. Mm. So we trained our minds and we just kind of almost operate mm. on autopilot right? mm -hmm. and we get good results and mm -hmm. we just maintained it. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, okay. So let's think We're about it. We're much this. type A mm -hmm. workaholic-ish. Mm -hmm. I don't even know what woke words we can use anymore, but mm -hmm. we're just not going to worry about that. Oh, by the way, we're not snowflakes and we're not supportive of snowflakes. So you might hear that just as a disclaimer. Yeah. We still want <laughs> snowflakes to listen, but if you but, listen to us, we will give you really good advice not to be called <laughs> snowflakes anymore. Right. How, how not to be categorized as one. Okay. So back to... Oh, yes. Back to, so we were talking about being, you know, us working really hard, making a good living. So it's almost like we've maintained it, but you maintain it just because you, it, even though it's effort. Okay. Okay. But fine. I maintained the weight. All of my, I was always a it's certain size. Show. Everything. What? Hormonal. It's right. Famous. Well, see, and that's just not fair. See, this it's is, not the, this is the problem. Right. Because you go to any doctor, you think, yeah. well, yes, it's hormonal. Okay. So, so help me with what this. do we do about so this? So I will say that the, the most of the physicians would probably agree with that. The problem with the Ozempic specifically, or semaglutide, is the BMI. And you're just not going to make it on your own. And that's a good problem to have. I know it's not the answer you want, but it's a no, great problem. I know, I know, I know. So, uh, I'll just be pissy about it. That's right. Oh, I know what I was going to say. So, <laughs> I'm just going to, and I'm, again, speaking totally out of turn. You can probably help. What about hormone replacement? I don't want to do it. Okay. I don't blame you. Okay. I, I, I don't either. I wouldn't reason. either, but I'm just wondering, so would that, just so we can give our listeners, yeah, if absolutely. somebody's thinking about doing hormone yes. replacement, mm -hmm. somebody's going through menopause, having a weight struggle or maintenance problem, and they say Ozempic or hormone replacement. Let's say you're not, let's say you well, are open to <laughs> hormone replacement. Because you've gained weight. Because that's, right. that's your right. number one issue. That's a, yeah. If that's yeah. your yeah. only I'm living thing. with yes. the, oh. the brain fog. I'm living with the hot flashes, mm -hmm. the night sweats, and whatever else I am experienced that I don't even know anymore. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> No, or okay. lack of. <laughs> lack of. Oh, yes. Because constipation. Constipation yes. is a huge problem. Yes. Yeah. That's oh, true. Yeah. yeah. So, um, the hormone replacement, no, I, I don't want to do it because we have breast cancer in the right. side of the family, which, of course, then everybody, tell, you know, the doctors, which yeah. my, my um, gyno and uh, primary G GP yeah. Yeah. say that I'm not a risk because of who's had it in my family. As far as breast cancer. Okay. Or, Would that gene, if they tested for you, for the gene, is that? I've already been tested. And you're, you're a no. no. I'm a no. Okay. But, I mean, that hope is a whole nother thing. Because I got tested eons of years ago, probably mm -hmm. at least 20 years ago, for BRAC analysis 1 and 2. Oh. And I don't have the gene for either one of them. However, our family has all had the, the same certain breast cancer type okay and a bra and it's not a killer one so when you're tested 20 years ago the money wasn't being put towards this breast cancer over here it's mm -hmm. these bad ones and everything mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. no none of us because my one of my aunts who had breast cancer was also tested BRAC analysis one two or whatever negative, negative. okay but she got breast cancer and so yeah but it's the whatever I don't know the term for it. Yeah, strain of breast cancer. There are, or and there's been a ton of obviously changes in 20 years, which we right. want. We want to see that happen. Right. That means things so are evolving. So if you would test for this certain one, yep. You know, maybe yeah. I would, maybe I wouldn't. I don't yep. know, but it's right. irregardless. But so would the f hormone? Let's say she wanted to take hormone replacement mm -hmm. therapy. Would that help with the weight loss? 
Probably, maybe. Okay. I, I have no idea. Yeah, they, they say it can. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Just to get what I get. I give our listeners, if you're thinking yeah. about Ozempic, yeah. or you're thinking about but hormone the replacement. Problem. They say if I start the hormone replacement, and this is coming from my gynecologist, if I start the hormone replacement therapy, all I'm doing is Prolong. prolonging because you're not going to stay on it. I shouldn't stay on it for more than a year. So when I It'll, get off of it, you're gonna I'm be right going back to do the same here. Thing. You're right, going right. to reset it back here. to yes. good point. That is so at, yeah. what's the point then? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, yeah, right. Because if all I'm doing is just... Excellent point. You know, what's... Yeah. Okay. It's all... I, I just get very irritated with it because it is well, just we not right. Here. If, if this was happening to men... There would be a problem. We would all right. be shooting there, up with there, something. There'd be there'd be a different answer. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I know, uh -huh. I know. Because yes. we just put it on our shoulders and carry that shit around. I'm like, yep, yes. add that to me. Yeah. No. <laughs> so we will be on this journey with you if yeah. you decide. No, you'll be right behind me. <laughs> well, why am I going to be behind you? Because well, you're going to be you. Now, you're going to be behind me. You're going to in a few years. Oh, you're going to be I, doing this journey yourself too, and I'm going to be saying, "Well, that's too bad." Just you know, what are you going to do? Take Ozempic. <laughs> so, with our listeners, we'll be with you on this journey. Mm -hmm. I will be with you. I'm yeah, about done. Oh, I'm, I'm hoping I. Well, and that's the thing is the gyno said, "Hey, you could stop all this. You know, these symptoms tomorrow. Right. You don't know how long it's going to last." Yeah, which. But that's unfair too because I think I've been on the fucking journey long enough. <laughs> I'm with you. I went off of it. I, I've done uh, my time. Got a few years beneath you, but I swear I've been on this godforsaken journey um, for at least two now. And my GYN, she's like, yeah, it's possible, you know. Leverter never will move from her until she retires, but oh my. I it just can't now, stand I, the there is a OB that I follow on Instagram. Yeah. That she she was an OB. Well, she still is or whatever. But she is solely now of uh, with menopause. So, uh, God bless that's her. That's all she does. And, oh, if she's uh, well, I forget her name. The, I forget her name. Huh. Uh, I'll have to look. But um, it's all the Galveston diet. Mm. I've and, never heard of it. I don't think I know what that is. I'm going to write it down, though. And it's weight loss, then. Okay. While you're... While I'm book. researching my options. <laughs> oh, well, if you can get the... Oh, I know. Shot. Yeah. I, I mean... I'm See, but I'm for the easy way, because I won't go to the gym. Unless I'm going to go there and tan. Yeah. Which, that's well, all I do. You know, if Peloton's <laughs> listening, I'm like an inaugural owner and supporter and post about you guys but nonetheless because <laughs> someday but we um uh, we i love my peloton that is i'm not a big i can't leave my house i just loved the classes at the gym i loved zumba it was all one of you know that was always a thing but it was like okay that's 20 minutes to get there mm -hmm. and then i'm gonna do my workout and then i gotta do this and then it's 20 minutes and all of a sudden you know, kids and life and mm -hmm. everything else work mm -hmm. gets in the way of it. So I know that I can either get on my bike or get on the app and I'm religious and I think I'm on day, well, we, since I've had the Peloton, I haven't missed a week. Um, but I think right now I'm on like day 101 Wow! of every day, at least 10 minutes. Mo I hate to count just the 10 minutes, but some days, hey, like when you're in the car for six hours, minutes. it's 10 minutes. It's 10 minutes. That's, That's right. right. Um, so I just celebrate it that I did the 10 minutes. But, you know, I try for always 30 minutes. But, you know, you get what you get some days. And that's... That's awesome. Yeah. Well, 101. 101. Mm -hmm. Keep it going. Keep mm -hmm. it going. I don't know. Very good. Very good. Uh, what do you guys think about Andy Cohen uh, getting the star? So wonderful. I know. I, I can't wait to, for her. I mean, Me obviously, too. I won't be there down on Del Mar. Are you going? Are you going to go? No. I really did consider it. We we're we we're looking for some office space, so I'm going to be out and about that day. Mm. Um, oh, that's exciting. Yeah. Office space I, in Del Mar? No. Sorry. Hopefully not. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> trying to bring that west. Come on. Bring that on back. Uh, How far west can you get it? I think as 
I think the furthest, farthest, furthest west I would be able to achieve will be Creve Corps. Oh, 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 that's good. We can go back to the Legion. I know we can. Well, one of the locations is on said campus. <gasps> yes. So really. Of 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 my alma mater. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> I know, would that be a spicy little fun oh, thing? Oh my gosh, I would so love it. You know, I would love it a million area? times. Better. Yeah. So, super quick background. Yeah. yeah. Um, Liz and I worked together for 19 years mm -hmm. ish. Yeah. Uh, we are in the commercial insurance broker space. Yeah. Um, I have known Steph. For 20, I'm gonna say 25 years. I have no idea. I don't either know. I we lose track. Long time, a long, long time. Um, we all three have been friends for probably 15 years, I would yeah. say. Yeah. So just mm -hmm. to give everybody mm -hmm. a little background mm -hmm. about how we mm -hmm. know each other. Mm -hmm. uh, Steph and my husband worked together. Mm -hmm. Liz and I worked together. That's how we became the threesome. Yes, mm -hmm. super fun. So if we can, I, huh? No, no. I, I hate to keep on the uh, oh. the whole uh, a weight loss thing Why not? or Let's weight do gain it. thing. Might as well be weight gain because I'm not willing. Uh -huh. <laughs> what do you know about the lymphatic drainage? Yeah. Well, about that. Let's no, drain our lymph nodes. <laughs> So can I can I get rid of shit that way? It it is a cleanse, right? It's a style of theoretically. So is it only a massage? I mean, I've heard of massages, mm -hmm. or I heard of like even um, I I something else too, like a. So I'm familiar, yeah, I'm familiar with the massage technique that's meant to like help move stuff out of your lymphatic system, but obviously your water intake and it's going to be critical for any of that, right? So a massage can break up lactic acid for you. But yeah, you you're always supposed to drink water. But if you don't then. drink enough water, you're not going to, you know, exit mm -hmm. what you've mm -hmm. done. So, mm -hmm. but yeah, I mean, I... I haven't done a ton of research on it. I know about it. I know massage therapy can maneuver it and help, but... Okay, so I'm back to laxatives. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that so, might be a better... You know, that those always are... Cool. So as cleanse. many... That's a cleanse. Yeah? yeah. And not to go back, because I, I, I feel like we're going two steps forward, one step back. Is mini thins totally off the market? Yeah. Mini thins? What's that? Fin-fin. fin The gas station oh. drugs we were yeah, talking they're about. Gone. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's yeah, completely gone. Yeah. Oh, God, yeah. They okay. shut them down. All right. Hard. Just checking. Yeah. Shut them Just down see, hard. Seeing yeah. if we can check them. <laughs> Go that route. Can you go to Mexico or Canada for well, this stuff? Speaking of Mexico. I don't know. Somebody could have kept it in a warehouse. <laughs> <laughs> I did buy retinol in Mexico. Right. Yeah. I um, stopped using my... I can't use it. It's, it gets dried I, me out so much. Did not dry me out at all. Well, good. Then you can... But I don't know. I'm, well, keep going with it. I mean, I'll give it a go. Start, I mean, you haven't done it for I four mean, times. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> four times. Okay. Okay. No. You're not going to get results so, from so four times. Okay, so just so talk about what, four what, we're, what we're talking, what kind of people we're talking about here. <laughs> I want retinol to work in four times. <laughs> you want I'm just to going get... to do laxatives <laughs> and just shit my fat out <laughs> and expect that to happen on a by a Saturday oh afternoon. God. So maybe more than four times? Maybe. Yeah, <laughs> maybe like four months. Yes. So, yes. Too much of a commitment. Oh, Way too oh much my of a God. No. <laughs> well, there's that. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh. okay, so we are okay. turning into types of snow snowflakes because we want this immediate gratification. Like we point. want it immediately. That's not a teach. snowflake, it's just being fucking uh, impatient. <laughs> I don't have enough time in my life for this stuff. I know. I need it now. 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 Yesterday actually would be better. That would be better. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. I'm with you. But I kind of work like that, right? I kind of want things yesterday when I asked for them today. I was hoping somebody would have like the forethought yes. of like, she's going to need this. Let me make this happen. Oh. Uh, and then, Hello, if anybody listens and realizes what's happening. The, the movement's happening. Yes. 
but then my so then I'm like okay well then I should just roll that expectation bar way down because shit that I wanted yesterday isn't coming yesterday or today so <laughs> keep mm -mm. keep on mm -mm. Mm -mm. even though you're thinking three steps ahead uh -huh. what can I do to make things easier for myself or for others I know and you feel like you're the only one that has that mindset yes regularly so huh. that's great that Andy's kidding us. <laughs> is he a star? Is it a star? Yeah, a star, yeah, yeah. Oh, down there on the uh, Del Mar Loop? Mm -hmm. Is that where that all that it stuff is? is? Oh, uh, okay. Okay. Well, yeah. that's awesome for him. I'm sure his parents will be there and I would the think kids. So, yeah. And who knows? Yeah, one, some, one child or two. Two now, two. Cinco de Mayo and. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It is the Friday. Mm -hmm. I'm hosting mm -hmm. 25 people. Well, I have learned nothing from you guys because I'm having at my office a Cinco de Mayo day. And yep, oh. I ordered I some four oh, sombreros, margaritas, chips, and salsa. Are you going to have name tags? No, no, <laughs> Should I? no. Yeah. I'm gonna be maracas. I could. I have some. I should bring them in, and then I'll do be Maria. Dance. If you want Mary and Liz to quit committees, um, make them not be able to have creative authorship. I have a margarita machine. <gasps> and uh oh i've uh ordered well i didn't well i didn't but you know because mr wanted it um that uh keg that oh you yeah. have yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Fun, yeah, fun. yeah and then um had you know i just got the keg the two and a half two and a half two and a half gallon little keg mm -hmm. for all stainless two and a half steel gallon. that feels like a lot it was the same that was yeah. that uh -huh. your party? Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh -huh. And then uh, after, I was like, just let me get this, and then I'll see what we get, and then it, what else need to go with it and everything. Mm -hmm. I don't know. What, you know, it was like, okay, so salsa. this thing. <laughs> 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 I don't know how to get anything in there, and then I don't know how to get it out of there. Out of the cake. Uh, yeah, the cake. because it's just the, the cake, and that's it. Oh, so wait, then is there Mr. A lid? Well, it's all enclosed. I don't know how to get things in there. So I had Mr. then uh, text our friend uh -huh. who had the keg. And of course, he immediately Aww. started sending everything. He's such a nice guy. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. And so immediately started sending, you know, all this stuff and everything. So, and, and just, you know, get the links off of Amazon. So I right away, I mean, just, uh, just started ordering off, so you have to you know? order more so it was more than just the cake <laughs> yes you have to order oh. yes. accessories. Accessories. accessories yes that's how they get you they get you to buy the keg and then you need the accessories and then I need more. so you know there was like the keg and then there was like a hundred dollars worth of accessories <laughs> oh shit <laughs> oh but and then so it all has come mm. and now i don't know what to do with it so now i gotta find i guess a youtube video or, have, or something the friend have friend come over. Well, yeah. yeah, yeah, he would totally would. Oh yeah. Well, we're gonna do a um, oh R and R. Yeah, we're gonna do an R and R. I got shout out, up. shout out to Barstool, Barstool Sports. Sports. Uh huh. Rough and rowdy Rough party. And rowdy. Yes. Yeah. 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 Our first one. Um, Second. We were new to it. Oh, no, what yeah. the first one? Everybody was new to it because you know I E was our first one. Yeah. And uh, so it was a blast. Um, everybody was liked it. And, it was great. Uh, it was super fun. And then, uh, so yeah, we're gonna have another one in May. Oh, I gotta look it up. I okay. haven't on the date. Okay, whenever it is. Awesome. I haven't sent anything out yet, but it'll be our all our friends. <laughs> Perfect. That'll be fun. Rough and rowdy. Rough and rowdy. Rough and rowdy. Yes. Yep. Yes. Just looking up uh, the date. Oh, yeah. well, I know what it. Well, no, it's May. Sixteen days. It's in sixteen days. I don't know what okay. date that is. Well. It's the live one is it's on a Friday, but we won't uh, we won't do it on the Friday. We'll do it on next Saturday. Saturday. It's too expensive. No, he's still <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Because I don't do things on Friday. Friday I know. It's, it's I know. Too, I'm too tired. It's so a long <laughs> week. So I still, this is not telling me. It says it's in hmm. 16 days, okay. 23 hours, and 31 minutes. It's the live it's one. Too so much it'll math. be the next it's too one. Too much math for you. I it is. <laughs> For those that know me, that is too well, much. Well, that would math. be a Wednesday. A Wednesday. <laughs> well, 
I'm telling you, <laughs> it's a Friday. It's a Friday. I agree. And we will have the party so on wait, a Saturday. So two weeks, it's going to oh, be. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Come on. It, there we go. Okay. Squirrel. So, <laughs> so, so we will, uh, uh, we'll, we're, we're going to do that. And uh, here's another question, just because I don't watch, I didn't watch, I don't know what housewife show this is on. Is it Booga Wolf, Wolf or Bolga Wolf? Okay, never mind. Uh, uh, bo- 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 uh, is it Booga Wolf or Bol- Bolga Wolf? Is it somebody's Wolf? last name? Where somebody called that and it oh. was, was this, what? It, if they, I, was it Atlanta? Yes, it? it was. It was like some big thing, and I don't know I how you know, pronounce it. And I don't either. I don't either. But yeah, good question. Something and Bogo. B O G. B O O G. G. Like a oh, boog. Yes. Well, like a boog. Like a booger. It could be. Is it boog? Boogie boogie boog, man. Boog a wolf or boog? Boog a wolf. wolf. I mean, it's not a nice uh, word, but oh, when you call somebody okay, that, see, but, a housewife. You know, but I don't know. I mean, I, I was just wondering. Just I, wondering. Yeah, good question. I'm not sure either, but I do. I did hear something about that. Oh, Boga Wolf. Jennifer, what is, Jennifer's diss to Margaret explained. What house? What okay, city is see. that? Uh, that is New Jersey. Oh. Uh, Jennifer Adnan. Uh, yeah, if I pro- yeah. if I mispronounce yeah. the names, New I'm year. sorry. Uh, explains why she really called Margaret Joseph a Boga Wolf. Um. What is Boga Wolf? It's Jennifer, nasty. who said she learned the term from one of her friends, offered a definition sharing that the meaning of Boga Wolf is a very ugly, nasty person to yes. the sc- core, a busted club chick. Oh. What's that mean? A busted club? Mm. Is that something? Margaret's response. <laughs> That's her best insult? I do have legendary club looks. <laughs> I am. I am well... I am very maintained. Hmm. I will say, I think that reunion is going to be like nutty and need some version of security. Yeah, because I heard what, New Jersey for Jer- yeah. Because I heard you know Team Teresa, Team Melissa, Melissa, and I still don't under. And I'm gonna, in all disclosure, have not watched it. I have no idea what's going on with the pizza oven. Oh, nothing, nothing. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> not a thing. No, nope. that wraps nope. that up. That, okay. That's yeah. about Wait, it. So I don't know what that means. It. It's, I mean, is, did somebody steal someone's idea? No, right. they they just one of them allegedly didn't call the other one back, and I don't know. It, and then somebody bought, bought all, all these, these pizza pizzas. Right, and right. Then, right. Yeah. Then then yeah. Teresa named it. Skinny something, something from her mother on her side of the family, and then the other yeah, one got pissed. Yeah. And then I'm still waiting for you know New York ding dong skinny wine chick to get pissed. And oh, uh, but, uh, Bethany, Bethany, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like <laughs> like we'll just bring it all back in. Yeah, like, yeah. Come on, ladies, just come on. Yeah. So what that else? was that was a big big nothing burger. Um, Any other Bravo news? We talked about Andy. Well, I am, I'm uh, definitely star. going to uh, Vegas. Oh yeah, I don't. Me too. Um, are you booked a hotel? Okay, you extra can. bed. Oh, if you want to come? Oh, um, if Mister doesn't want to come, yes, yes. Well, my Mister's coming because the Car. it's also SEMA that weekend. Yes. So I got to talk to uh, my son-in-law yet to see if I can get SEMA tickets. Oh, so. SEMA, not semen. Just want to clarify. Correct. <gasps> yes. Correct. Because I don't need tickets for that. For the latter. No, that's free. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> free of charge. Anytime you want. Uh, and more, more than you may ever need. <laughs> An abundance. <laughs> um, but yeah, definitely um, the. New York one last year was $125 for the lowest price ticket. Mm-hmm. And I do believe that's per day. I have no idea because, you know, of course, I know. They haven't released them yet. And they have not released any of the ticket prices. The Bravo tickets. tickets. Yes, mm-hmm. Bravo tickets. And do you know what we get for the said $125? No, not really. <laughs> Just entrance, which is fine. That's yeah, all yeah, I yeah. need. I don't want to do, you know, like all these VIP things or whatever. Right. I, you know, I, I don't think I need that first time around. Not this will probably be my only time around, but 
I just want to be there and, and be, being in Vegas I want to be gives Vegas. me the you know yeah. perfect opportunity being with you know family yeah. and we go anyway and it's football season and it's good. And so many options. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No pools, so, which sucks. But what do you mean no pools? The pools aren't open. Oh, in November. Yeah. I see. That's yeah. Okay. But well, there's other things to do. Plenty, plenty. <coughs> plenty. <coughs> All right. All um, right. Next topic. Oh, I don't know. Do we have any other mm -hmm. topics we want to... Mm -hmm. I think we hit on a lot today. Yeah. It's kind of like... Do you know that ABC and Twinkle Twinkle are the same song? Twinkle Twinkle. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. just, just saying. Just okay, so now... Okay, wonder. so anybody that's listening, <laughs> who is saying this in their head right now? What? I bet all of you are. <laughs> they're, they're doing Sing it in their Twinkle head. Twinkle. Yeah. Yes. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. I still don't see the, the sameness, but yeah. Okay, so let's sing it. We can sing it Go together. Ahead. Go ahead. A B. So somebody's got to sing "Twinkle Twinkle." If I'm gonna. Oh. Okay. A B C. No, you got to start at the same go. time. No, okay. This is not working. Okay. okay. Who wants to okay. say? Okay. I, I, Three, I, I, two, one, go. A B B C D E F G H I J K L N O P. Yeah, I okay. think it is. Okay. I think it is. Right. Just, and just, on that note. And on that note. <laughs> this, is, I, sorry. this could be a wrap of pilot. I think so. Episode. Podcast. Talking threesome. Podcast number one. Because somebody had to say it all of this. They we did. thank you for listening. We thank you for coming and joining our party. We hope you come back. We <laughs> promise that this will get better. This is just... Podcast number one. Yes. Well, and I need another martini. Same. Cheers. Cheers out. Cheers out. <laughs>